Tom. Welcome to the CAS Honors Program Annual Recycle. I'm Shirley Huang. I'm the director of the program beginning this year. I see tonight we have a rather unusual situation in which we have seat seating room but no standing room. So if anybody wants to take a seat, uh, I encourage you to do so. Um, Jocelyn told me that it's the custom for the director to say a few words at the beginning of these recitals, so I comply. Uh, I fear that words might only spoil an occasion like this. As you know, this is a musical evening, and music, to me at least, is a means to uh, drive out all other mental contrivances, such as spoken word, written word, strategy, politics, thoughts of taking or giving exams next week. So I try, I try to be brief, because that's what we are here to do. Um, I have to so to this players, which there are many, I uh, would say you must be the dreams of your parents. You excelled in music and then come to the College of Arts and Science to pursue a more worldly and practical study, <laughs> such as medicine, economics, international relations, and computer science. I'm sure that's what my mother would have pleased my mother very much. Um, but I also thank you for sharing with us tonight your multifarious talents and your multifarious indulgences in music. And for the rest of us who can't play or is not playing tonight, we will just absolutely lay, sit back and enjoy ourselves. Music has the power to triumph over words and other evil thoughts. And uh, in my mind, one of the most powerful allegory of that is in uh, Mozart's magic flute, if you remember. You can say the whole opera is to make this point. But especially towards the end of the first scene, when Papageno, despair of the menace of Monestado and his evil and warlike crew, produced the magic charm. And with that, all the evil intentions, all the contrived emotions, <coughs> is reduced to a merry dance. So I also want to particularly thank uh, Jocelyn Emerson, her associate director. Uh, I'm witness to the fact that she's been recruiting talents for this recital since the very first uh, August Association meeting last fall. So it is appropriate for us to start the concert with a round of applause first to thank Jocelyn, and then also to welcome our first performer.
watching stars on the big screen. Then he lies awake and he wonders, why can't that be me? Cause in his life he's filled with all these good intentions. He's left a lot of things he'd rather not mention right now, just before he says good night. He looks up with a little smile at me and he says, if I could be like that, I would give anything just to live one day in those shoes. If I could be like that, what would I do? What would I do? Watching the people as they pass All she wants is just that something to hold on to Is that too much to ask For a safe home And a warm bed On a quiet little street All she wants is just that something to hold on to That's all she needs I could be like that I would give anything Just to live one day In those shoes If I could be like that What would I do? What would I do?
this will be, I'm pretty sure, the last piece, yeah?